hey guys lightning strikes so i just got a super confirmation that i am definitely on the right path so i call myself an energetic teacher and one thing that happens with me is i realize i don't say everything that i've been i've learned um it, it's hard to say everything i learned the way i experience the type of information that I see that the universe literally gives me is unreal. So unreal that I have been gaslit so bad to think that my gift of seeing the different frequencies is a curse. Because I have this uh, entire world that I'm existing in that people are trying to tell me that is not real. So energetics is just basically dealing with anything that, uh, that, that the whole universe is in denial about. Uh, never underestimate the ability for you to be in denial. Never underestimate, even me. That's a message for me. Never underestimate how in denial you can be about your situation, reality, and moving and progressing the universe into innovation. So I now realized that my absolute psychotic passion to innovate the universe, I'm not lying, it's, it's my passion, I am desperately in love with innovation i am hopeless romantic for innovation specifically innovation when it comes to understanding the spiritual realm to understand the spiritual realm in my opinion i need images but i also work the best with information the more knowledge you gain in your lifetime that knowledge compounds so Joe Rogan posted his podcast with Terrence Howard, whom is an actor, very, very famous actor, whom I didn't know. Handsome man, 55 years old. He looks like he's like 37. Very attractive. Look it up. Three hour podcast. Devoured all of it. Because, and I just started sobbing, crying because I'm like, it's time. It's time for, it's time for, it's time for innovation and it just and everyone in the comments is saying this is amazing this is amazing he's a genius i'm like he's not a genius he's a normal fucking human being he's seeing the universe for what it truly is you're you are in denial and so in the comments you'll see people say he's crazy he's schizophrenic no he's not i don't know who this guy is don't know I, he's a famous actor don't know who the fuck he is but i was i just started sobbing because i'm like he is living in my world he's seeing my world and so my parents they love me to death and they've invested so much to me in me and i plan on giving them the world but they don't get it they don't get what it's like to be in my body they don't get it at all and i don't know and so for me it felt like hell i it genuinely felt like hell there's nothing short of hell because I'm seeing ridiculous things, ridiculous things happening in the spiritual realm with politicians, with people, with people at church, with people at like a normal reality. Like I'm looking at this girl right now and I see her tethered to like space. I'm looking at this girl walking. She's walking like probably going to Burger King, but I'm looking at her. You see like the reality that I live in, it's not the same. And so then there are people who's like, oh, you're so gifted. You know, you have an amazing gift. Bitch, bitch, bitch. I'm being gaslit on a fucking daily basis. I'm being gaslit. And like, of course I'm going to go into depression. So this is where I was going to. I am extremely miserable. Extremely fucking miserable. And YouTube is this is the one space that I genuinely feel has raised my frequency so much so fucking much to the point where i'm out in public and okay so 
I believe external validation does affect you internally i know i say happiness is a choice and it fucking is a choice like you really do choose to see the positive of life but getting compliments from strangers calling you beautiful or telling you you look amazing today is like that's intoxicating okay i don't care if it's a freaking grandma like when you compliment me i feel good and that's uh, there's no denial about that and so and they probably feel really i mean to me if you have to go out your way and tell someone they look good that means they look really good okay that means they look too good but i'm not so i i do change my opinion i'll just say this i change my opinion i don't believe that you, you, happiness is inside i don't fucking believe that no i think most people no, can kind of sense that that's a bunch of bullshit it doesn't come just from out in, inside it's both inside and it comes from outside but on a more positive note you guys mean so fucking much to me the reason is i don't even care if people unsubscribe people unsubscribe all the time and maybe because they miss the context of my youtube channel and i do post i to be fair i do post um things i like okay if that makes sense i post if i want to do my makeup on camera i'll do my makeup if i want to show my outfit i'll do my outfit if i want to do my hair i'll do my hair um if i want to show my jewelry i'll show my jewelry which is like, i don't like how that looks like um i can do all of that but so people come they may subscribe because they're like oh she's like a teacher and then i'll do my makeup so i get it you're probably like so what is her niche I'm never going to have a niche. You want to know why? Because I hate, I hate boxes and I hate people who want me in a box. And my whole life, it feels like I'm this insanely creative person who's being told that you need to work at Amazon in order to have value in this universe. Love that for you. Love that. I'm pretty sure jeff bezos fucking kills children okay so don't tell me what the fuck i need to do i'm pretty i'd bet some money that he's probably been on epstein island i'll bet some money that he probably has participated or is close friends with somebody who participates in pedophilia and you know i try to look at people for the good they do provide amazon's great this wig i have guess where i got it from amazon um some other things I have at home, where did I get it from? Fucking Amazon. There's another Facebook page that I just found that this woman has gone through 22 years of satanic ritual abuse. So I have not been through satanic ritual abuse, but I fucking have seen Satan's dark eyes. And for years, for years, for years, like eight, eight to nine years of serious demonic torment um a level that i don't even think i can give birth to children if that's even a slight possibility and so um the level of gaslighting that happens with people who see the spiritual realm is on they dehumanize you they call me not him you're the one who can't see the fucking dogs can see the spiritual the cats can sense the spiritual fucking birds and like insects can see the spiritual you're the fucking weird one you if everyone in nature is can sense frequency can sense vibration can sense reality's quirkiness and you call me crazy and schizophrenic there's a fucking problem let me repeat myself the dogs can see the spiritual realm sweetie your fucking pet animal that you feed kibble bitch what is kibble the dogs i mean i swear to god if plants and animals can speak they'll cuss all everybody out they, they'll cuss you straight out the dogs looking at you like bitch what the fuck is this where's my raw meat that's why I said if I have, I, I'm not going to own a dog until YouTube starts paying me ridiculous money because I'm not feeding my fucking dog kibble. 
oh my god are you crazy and i know people are like what does this have to do it has to do with a lot of things you guys don't understand that i am the normal one i am the normal one seeing the spiritual you are not the normal one if you can't sense this even the one i have problems with the bible i have problems with most religions but why i still choose to read and understand is because they don't get they don't get it too wrong the spirit even the bible says why are you fighting against each other it's a spiritual battle battle if there's one thing my mom ever taught me and i'd say, like you know you never value your parents you're just like you're 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 my parent like you just never value but if my mom ever said anything that really really was important hey mom i know you're listening love you to death she said what it's a spiritual battle it's a spiritual i mean i would have conversations it's spiritual it is spiritual and i'm like oh here she goes but no and even someone as, who can see the spiritual mom i still don't want to believe it i'm like no there's other factors it's spiritual but all it also does have to do with our decisions but it's also spiritual there are no questions about it don't question me because if I come up to you, if I see what's going to happen in your future or what ha let's say inside the future, because future is kind of an anomaly and works with the decisions people make. Let's talk about your past. If I come to you and I tell you what I saw you in your past and you start breaking down, crying, like feeling understood, feeling seen, feeling heard. If you start breaking down, crying. And so my ego is not attached there i think my ego is more attached to how many people i make smile my how many people i help liberate their energy how many people truly feel like i innovated an industry i don't want people to think like oh she's the best who fucking cares if you're the best the best is only a title for a moment do you know how easy it is to be the fucking best bitch do you know for how fucking easy it is to be the best do you know what it takes to become the number one podcast in the country? Do you know what it takes? 21 videos. So the next time you see someone in their bios, like number one YouTube channel, who fucking cares, bitch? All you have to do is post 15 videos. I have 200 videos. I'm not the number one in anything. I barely got a thousand subscribers. Which the world would say, you're not successful, sweetie. But I would say 1,000 people sense what the fuck i feel who sense that they're tired of being gaslit what the fuck is that's as successful as it gets as do you know what it feels like to be gaslit you're fucking seeing people are laughing at you for your problems and you are literally watching the demon jump out the body come back in they're making fun of you while also being fucking possessed So I haven't been to church in two weeks and I have another subsect who's like, why the fuck would you not be at church? And other people are like, oh, church is, you know, good. Personally, I go to church for the people. Why? Because I like people. I don't hate people at all. All of you guys, I love you guys to death. I show up for you guys. Do you know how anxious it is to come on camera and tell you guys how miserable I am prior to starting this YouTube channel? It's, I, I was not miserable is is a nice word fucking unbearable that's how it is i had to get to the point where my life was so fucking unbearable i was like i have to speak about what i've seen i have to talk about what i've seen i have to understand what i've seen i'm not gonna sit here and people god doesn't exist you're sky daddy first of all he's not sky daddy he lives in your eyeballs witnessing everything you go through so that's funny but you know what Ha ha he he he. So let's just talk about my miserableness. If you ever decide to become a spiritual teacher, uh, just go ahead and understand in fine print, <laughs> fucking in fine print, you will help people get through the darkest times of their life. Fine print. You also have to go through the darkest times of your fucking life in order to do that. Um, every person called to be a spiritual teacher, they all, I'm so thankful that they're so truthful. They said, I don't fucking want to do that. 
I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. But the reward, guys, the people sending me money, the people emailing me, me and telling me my videos help them. Fuck out of here. Give me that miss up that shit up so I can help you guys. Up it up. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid because I get to. I know what it's like to be so fucking miserable you're not even like you're beyond miserable you're like who the fuck created me and why did he create me because i don't want to be here anymore i want to be permanently destroyed i don't want to go to hell i don't hell is generous i would rather have never existed that's that's the point of frustration i okay now i'm gonna start crying that i feel with life but um i just love you guys so much i love you guys so much and everyone in my life <laughs> i know it's only a thousand subscribers but don't fucking knock me everyone in my life can see how much positive i have become because of um being able to have a a space where i can just say what i'm seeing and um, they can all feel it. And they're all so appreciative of the change that's happened. Um, so, like, as a viewer, never think that um, commenting or sharing or liking or emailing me, or sending me money, buying my courses, being a part of my life. It's like, oh, you know, she doesn't value it. It's like, no, I fucking need it. I don't... I don't have a choice. Like, I need people who just know that I'm not crazy. <laughs> and don't treat innovation like it's something light, you know. One thing that pisses me off about humans is we're so fucking narcissistic. We think everything is about us. And you know what's so funny? Everything is about you. <laughs> everything is, quite frankly, about you. When you raise your frequency, you raise the entire planet's frequency. When I choose to heal and I choose to turn on my camera and a thousand people fucking feel what I feel, it's that's what I'm talking about. So when you choose to heal, it affects me. Yes, it is important. It is important to heal. It is important to share your emotions. It is. You may not think it is because the, what, 25 fucking people don't appreciate it in your life, right? Like your friends, your family, your local community. They may be like, well, that's, you know, she's fucking corny. She's weird. She's so fucking weird. Bitch, fuck you. Has anybody, like, oh my God. If you weren't me, I would cuss you out, right? And so I'm also getting to this mentality where I no longer look at the universe as if i am separate from it so when i see someone beautiful i am saying i'm beautiful to myself if i see someone talented i'm like oh wow what the fuck i am talented when i see someone shining they're shining their light their comedian light their fashion light their engineering light their doctorate light their um i don't know what the fuck you're doing whoever you whoever you choose to be when I see people shine their light, I no longer say, while wow, they have it, I want to take it from them and be them. Because that's the thing. When you're so fucking miserable, all you think is like, I want what they have and I will steal it from them. And that's going to probably get me canceled. Or some people will hate, will hate me, but I don't care. When you're really fuck, the truth is... I know what it's like to be one of those haters in the comments. I know because I'm fucking... I have been a hater. I have been a hater-ass bitch. I've been a hating-ass bitch. I have been a hating-ass bitch. And I used to see successful people and I'm like, I fucking want that. I am miserable. And so... The journey continues. I get what they have. And guess what? I'm so fucking miserable. So, I do think... Yes getting and accomplishing what you want in life does make you happy but also you have to work internally right like god's not stupid right that's the thing about the sky daddy people or atheists or fucking people i don't care what you are but when you start joking around with the cosmos and the geometric patterns and vibration and frequency you look dumb 
I am not, you know, will not stand here and be called dumb. And then people will have the nerve to ask me, when am I going to have kids? When you fucking stop gaslighting me. When you start, my, my life stops being miserable, I'll have kids. Why would I, at, but I'm smart enough. Do you want me to pass my generational bitchiness off? No, I don't want that. I, I love my kids. I love, I freaking love wood chips, bitch. I'm in love with spoons. I'm in love with Thai. Like, I, I fall in love very easily. That's awesome. That's another video. But shamelessly, maybe it's my Pisces energy. Maybe it's the stars aligning. Maybe it's my personality. I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, I lo fall in love very fucking easily. I mean, give me three months and I probably will say I love you. I'm just not I'm not joking. But on, on a more positive note, I also feel like you guys really, it's beyond saving a life. Because I was going to keep my life no matter what. This is feeling like I have an actual um, like I have an outlet for all this love. If 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 I love what I see spiritually, I love it, but I hate. I feel like I stick out sometimes. It's like when people are like, "Oh, let's go to club, let's party." I'm like, "Bitch, I'm not fucking going there." Last time I went there, I saw a demon come out the. I saw demons. I'm like, no, I'm not going there. I would rather just be in how do i go to the club? okay let's simulate going to club because i did go out on uh, a couple of nights ago let's simulate what a night out with me it goes like so first you have to spend ridiculous you have to spend a hundred dollars just to get to the club okay so that a hundred dollars can be considered your hair your makeup your outfit whatever then you get there you see an average of at least four, me me i see an average at least four people who definitely have things that I have no business drinking and partying. Here, I need to be praying for you because I'm seeing cognitively that this is not good. This your your consciousness is good. Your consciousness is not doing good. And so now I'm expected to ignore that and then talk to this fucking loser. Who does not plan on paying my bills. He just wants to have sex. He's just talking to me. Honestly to hear himself talk. So here's also the thing. I don't. What, now that I'm a spiritual woman. I, I I I also don't like religion. Okay I'm. I'm moving topics. But if you're smart you'll fucking get it. Like the person who commented. What does this have to do with each other? Finish the video. Finish the video and you'll get it. When. I, okay, this is one thing I don't like about now choosing to fully expose my life and be public. One thing, just one thing I don't like is I have to deal with so many different frequencies. So one person can watch me and be someone like me who's truly, truly miserable and is like, who the fuck is going to help me understand this? They may not save me and get me out, but they help me comprehend the universe in a little bit better because I'm confused. I love you guys. I'm here for you guys. I will do anything for you guys. My life's work is you guys. I, if I could spend my life helping six people understand the spiritual world, then I did a great. I had a great experience on earth. But then I also have to deal with people who are dumb. They are so dumb. And they come to my page wanting me to explain basic information. How many fucking YouTube channels are there that explain this? How many? You let me know. How many are literally talking about the most basic things? Can you not click on them? Can you go click on that video and not spend my time when there are people who are clicked all those videos and found zero contentment? They're like, this is not good enough. I need more information. This is not good enough. And so I deal with the people who are dealing with those kind of frequencies what the fuck um is happening in the universe that i'm going to university after university church after church youtube video after youtube video to understand those are the people i work with so don't come to me saying i don't understand your video don't understand it you have to have a certain intellect to come to my channel period period point blank blank period this is what pisses me off the most about most channels it's like we're going fucking back to the basics. I'm not going to the basics. If you don't get the basics, you don't get the basics. You don't get it. I'm not, I'm not, I can't teach everything. If I spend all my time teaching you guys from the beginning of what the, 
if I go there, then I miss the people who already aced that or got a B or C or whatever and are now in a higher version of thinking and trying to comprehend the universe. And I, I miss teaching them and progressing the universe through them. You, if you don't understand, go fucking watch the, if not millions of videos that teach law of attraction. Let me teach you. Let me just help you if you got this far law of attraction read the bible front to cover read any actually not even just the bible read any religious text front to cover specifically the bible because all the religions mention jesus the bible does not mention other religions so it's worth talking about what the bible says um go have a basic reading and writing skills and then have maybe at least 20 years of life experience when you have the 20th year you understand things are a little funky and then also come to me when you are at the most broken fucking time of your life and you cannot comprehend anything then you can come to me then we can talk if not please don't click on my channel i'm not catering to that level of intellect anymore i don't want to i don't want to if i'm the only feminine metaphysics coach then that's that's what it is if i get killed for what i teach because you can get killed if you're talking about the spiritual realm you're talking about the metaphysical realm you will get killed that's on a, like if you're talking about what is true light not the false light when you, you can get killed so yes i am a target for murder period i am so if i ever don't post for like longer than i don't know a month i'm dead but the thing about it also the last thing i'll mention is that the fear of death is where they get you. If you're afraid to die, if you're afraid to be seen and you're afraid to die, especially death, that's even worse. If you're afraid to die, then they got you. Fucking go live under a rock then. Go live under a rock. They When they get you, that's how they get you. The worst they can do is, to me, to me if you really wanted to fucking kill me and make my life a miserable more miserable than ever no actually i i, I there's nothing much like <laughs> that fucking target has been beyond beyond fucking messed with um so there's not really much else that i need to be pissed off or angry about or feel like people can torture me from what are you gonna do what are you gonna do like killing me at this point would be kind just do it just do it i have enough videos up people are smart enough they'll get the gist okay um yeah so i feel really good i just vented my entire life to you and i i just you know i feel good i feel good like you know you may not agree with everything i say and i don't plan on it i think i i've never agreed with anything 100 percent anyone has said but i do value the different energies that i can get through their information so always remember that you are one every single fuck you looking at me you think i'm weird i you get ready for your subconscious to hear that and replicate that for you i am you every war is the most it's, it's self-hatred every breakup it's self-hatred and i'm so fucking angry every time i get brainwashed into forgetting that and pretending like well it's all about you yeah it's all about you you yes it's about you it's about you like universally like you everywhere it's about you and so also this is the last advice if you're watching a youtube video and you sense that the energy is off or you sense a darker energy click off okay click even if it's me if you're like oh you know i just don't feel like her energy like there's a, some dark energy around her click off click off because there probably is <laughs> so my course got us closed down below you guys are so sexy you guys are so amazing you guys are so beautiful and every time you listen to me you actually make me i go to sleep like this there's like a smile because i am no i'm slightly actually incredibly incredibly less miserable when i post and share my thoughts and that's all i have to say to you as of right now, I'll probably have something to say later on today, guys. Love you guys. Mwah.